Paint 3D plus PowerPoint is an awesome combination and this is what we have created. All the shapes are in actual 3D. So before moving further, let's watch this video. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Knowledge is power and getting the right skills are important. Skillshare makes it easy. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative and curious people where you can find so many inspiring classes ranging from animation, writing, films, graphic design, illustration, photography to web development. I have joined a class on management, strategy, essentials for management, consulting and startup success by Chris Ballman. I found it to be very engaging and interesting. Also the reviews are excellent. Here is the short preview of the class. Hi, my name is Chris and welcome to this course, uh, Strategy Essential Foundations for Management, Consulting and Startup Success. For those of you who don't know me, I actually got my start as a strategy and management consultant about 10 years ago. I ended up moving from consulting into founding my own software company. From there, I moved on to become a growth and marketing executive at a company called Percolate that you may have heard of. And I'm now back to working, advising companies and working on my own startup. Skillshare is for learning and therefore there are no ads and you can stay focused throughout your class. Experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So this is the Paint 3D and here you can create any shape you want. However, it's a very basic form of a 3D software but very useful if you want to use it in PowerPoint. You just need to create a shape here, just press copy and paste it in your PowerPoint slide and it's that easy. So let's begin with the tutorial. Let's create this cylindrical shape, change the color to white, simply copy and paste it in PowerPoint. It's that easy. Now just adjust its size and let's change its perspective by just you know moving it and rotating it on its axis duplicate it and you know flip it like using this button in the center align center then duplicate and place it here hold the shift key and rotate it by like 45 degrees and place it here Again duplicate, hold the shift key and then rotate to 90 degrees, repeat the step again and, and this is what we need here. Now you need to adjust the alignment here and you know the drill here how to do it. Use the guides and the and your judgment to align it properly so this is the alignment and now we need to make all these pillars more realistic and for that we need to create the shadow effect so insert a circle and it should be the size should match the bottom part of these cylindrical tubes that we have created or the pillars you can say in business language pillars is a is a better term to use now insert this rectangle remove outline let's fill the gradient here fill gradient stop fill black on both the gradient stops on the first gradient stop increase the transparency to 100 and move it to the right on the second keep it above 60 percent bring this circle to front and we will change its color later let's first adjust it group both these items together hold the shift key and rotate it by 45 degrees slightly reduce its length here and also increase the transparency on the second gradient stop so that the shed this shadow doesn't look very harsh send to back and we need to reduce the size here matching the bottom part of this cylindrical tube that we have created so let's change the color here let's go with some dark color because the kind of gradient background that we have used it will 
uh, it will look good here now just place this shadow by duplicating it like four more times and place it under these pillars and meanwhile you are watching this video or you are on our channel for the first time just hit the subscribe button please click on this like button and you can download this template from the g drive link provided in the video description but i would always suggest just watch the video till the end learn the concept and then practice and create your own 3d elements here now let's create this top section of the pillars and for that you need to insert these two circles and let's fill some dark matching color here in the circle increase its darkness and this is how we want it there should be some space between the outer and the inner circle and place it at here on the top of these pillars again use these guides that automatically appears when you move any object to align it and you can always zoom in on the slide so that you can fit things perfectly now now if you see this dark color is getting too much attention so we need to increase the transparency and now let's use the format painter option and before that you need to ungroup these top circles that we have created just select one by one and ungroup and the shortcut key is Control shift and G to ungroup any item now let's create the main circle and for that let's create this sphere give it white color simply copy and then paste it here also if you see we have placed this another 3d spherical kind of shape at the top this is just for aesthetic purpose but this circle will be our uh, main shape and all these five pillars are connected to this sphere or circle in 2d and also apply the same shadow effect that we have applied for the pillar and this will save our time and now let's add some animation on this shape this 3d model go to animation and let's see which one we can pick i think swing will look go uh, good here and go to animation pane effects option auto reverse timing and repeat until the end of the slide duration is fine it's moving very slowly and start with previous and let's take a look here so this looks really good and now we can move further let's insert these icons here for all these pillars so i'm using the default icons here but you can download from online sources just search for free icons or copyright free icons and you will get many options now we need to change the color of these icons to make them look realistic and they should look like the part of this complete environment that we have created so apply the matching color the complementary color and then increase the transparency now it looks fine and similar treatment is required for this main icon which is at the center increase the transparency and now go to insert and add the main text here so we will definitely add our branding here and this time the font is poppins we are using poppins for today 
and by the way it looks great if you are using it in italics and let's go with this gradient fill on the main text you can also keep it black or gray and now comes this text part and you know the drill here it's very easy place one heading subheading if you want to showcase stats you can do that depends upon the content you want to showcase and here you can add the description so let's write the important information here so please subscribe like join membership and share it's very important and it will really help us in creating more of these amazing videos now group the heading and subheading and you can place all these next to these pillars now let's create a connection between all these pillars and the circle at the center or the sphere at the center simply draw this straight line apply white fill on the line increase the transparency now again insert shape and pick this shape hold shift and it will create a straight line till here and change its angle like this fill white apply transparency and now you can duplicate this and place the next one here select all these three lines group these together duplicate flip vertically and place and align with the pillars at the bottom now align left both these grouped items now group these together send to back you need to select the group select it from the any of these white dots and send to back slightly increase the transparency transparency makes any item more realistic now go to insert and for aesthetic purpose and to make the background look more you know dynamic insert this shape let's start with black fill but i think gradient will look much better but let's try it first the placement is fine let's go with the gradient so it has automatically picked the gradient that we have filled in the background now you can play with the transparency on a couple of stops here the gradient stops and this is the final output so i hope you will like it this is all 3d actual 3d elements and please subscribe to our channel join the membership like this video and share with your friends and colleagues and we will see you guys in our next video with something more beautiful and amazing till then enjoy stay safe bye bye